It was so we flew. I, the MTC experience might be a little different now, but we were up at about 3:30 in the morning uh, at the MTC to get to Salt Lake Airport. Um, when I left, it was two weeks after 9/11. Um, so I was in the MTC for 9-11, uh, which was an interesting experience. But uh, So they had just changed all airport regulations. So my parents had planned on bringing my family up. My mom's a flight attendant and flies for free. So they were going to come up and send me off. And so we got the, you know, the announcement that now families were encouraged not to go to the airport to meet us. Uh, so they you know, told us to call our parent, gave us like two minutes on the MTC phones. and. Uh, but my mom and dad said they were coming anyways, and since my mom's a flight attendant, she went with us to the gate and, you know, sent us off. And we had a connection in Dallas, um, and we're a little late, and then a connection in Miami. Um, our flight was a little late, so we ended up taking off a little later than normal. So uh, we uh, landed in Venezuela late night, probably 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. So uh, um, my mission president, you know, was there with his wife and, uh, and the APs. Um, and one of the APs was actually a, a buddy that, of mine that I grew up with uh, in Salt Lake. So that was really cool kind of calming experience because that flight from Miami to Venezuela was, uh, whew, that was a, little, a little rough. You know, things get really real on, on that flight. But uh, get, got to see a buddy and, you know, and we, uh, we all hopped in kind of separate taxis to go back. And we stayed at the office elder's apartment that night. But uh, so I didn't get to see much going in, you know, because it was late at night. So I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing to be able to kind of not see what I was going into. But, uh, you know, I got to the apartment. And uh, once you get to a, a South American apartment, you kind of realize, oh, it's a little, little different, you know, here. But it was fun and office elders were great. But then you wake up in the morning and kind of look out. They lived on like the 17th floor of an apartment building. And you kind of look out and see Maracaibo and you're like, oh, wow, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that day we, we did a training in the mission office pretty much all day and, you know, kind of went over mission rules and regulations and did the whole, you know, went and got a debit card or, you know, not even a debit card. We had ATM cards back in the day and would take out money. That's how we got, got our funds. So we went and got our debit card and, and, uh, and got mission rules and regulations and found out our areas. But, uh, the one thing that struck me about that first day, uh, just, you know, nervousness. I don't know if I was scared so much, but. Uh, my mission president, who's now, uh, you know, uh, uh, 70, Elder Martino, James B. Martino, my mission president, um, was just so, uh, just so animated and happy we were there and just so engaged in, in the work. It kind of almost set you, set you at ease to, you know, get you excited to go to work. Um, and so we, we spent that day and went out that night with office elders to kind of do a little investigate, you know, find investigators. But then the next day, went into our first areas. Um, so I, I stayed in the city in Maracaibo. I had some buddies that went, you know, kind of all over into the mountains, hours and hours away. So I was pretty lucky that I was only about a 10 minute taxi ride away from the mission office from my first area. But uh, yeah, that first day invest with, uh, you know, getting investigators and getting to the apartment was a little, little eye opening. <laughs> a little eye opening, uh, you know, you realize really quick you weren't in, you know, Salt Lake City or Phoenix anymore. Uh, you know, broken glass shards on the top of fences to keep people out of yards and just stray dogs everywhere. And it was hot. Venezuela's Phoenix heat with Florida humidity. So you get re used to that really fast. But, um, you know, my my trainer uh, just we went to work. That's the best thing you, you can do as a new missionary is just get to work and you forget about everything else. So.